what do you remember thinking about the procedure when you first saw it? Much easier than it looked. Moving from eye track to eye track advance has been a real game changer. It's both effective, but it's also a safe procedure. Why do you think preserving the natural aqueous pathway is so important? We've got patients who we treat with things like SLT and other MIGs. Many respond, but some don't. This procedure is blebless. Eye track, it's bypassing the trabecular meshwork, but it's also dilating Schlemmer's canal. So it's a really comprehensive approach to glaucoma. <laughs>
Uh, this makes it much faster to uh, insert and perform the procedure. With the initial eye track, you had to manually perform a little goniotomy and then with forceps advance the catheter. And that can be technically challenging and sometimes time consuming. Now, they've really made a really nice design with this uh, atraumatic uh, cannula, which we use to pierce the trabecular mesh work and enter Schlem's canal. Uh, and then it's got an actuator which we slide, which then advances the catheter through 360 degrees. Really nicely designed, it can work for right or left handed surgeons, whether you've got small or large hands, really nice uh, actuator, makes it very easy to pass the catheter. Mm. What's nice is it's got this red illuminated uh, tip, so we can always see where the tip is at all times. So we know as a surgeon, we've got complete confidence um, of where the stent is at all times. And again, that really uh, reflects enhancing the safety of the procedure for our patients. So it sounds like you've had plenty of experience with the advance. Maybe you can share some of your surgical pearls for newbies to the eye track advance. It's an easy procedure to adopt, but there are some important points that help reduce that learning curve. Uh, like any mixed procedure, visualization is everything. So you want to spend time making sure the patient is well positioned in terms of turning their head away and tilting your microscope. Again, getting that good view with the gonio lens making sure you're not applying excess pressure with the gonio lens because that can cause corneal striae which can obscure your view. Uh, take your time, it's, it's not a long procedure, you don't need to rush it. Mm. Uh, get a good view of the TM, uh, advance the tip, and then talk into your surgical assistant to deliver the viscoelastic and I just start withdrawing the catheter and then I count to my surgeon, one, two, three, and they're turning the device which is delivering the viscoelastic and then the catheter comes out and, and the procedure is over. Well, Dr. Kerr, it was really nice to sit down and chit chat about this critical new piece of technology for glaucoma. Really appreciate you taking the time away from the show here at APAO to chat with us. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.